Alright, do the SCP for me. Hello YouTube, PNY Prepper here. Today I'm gonna do a review of my Ruger LCP 380. Also as a as a concealed uh, weapon of choice for me. I have a Seychelles and how I carry my Ruger LCP 380. So obviously uh, inside the holster this is a an Uncle Mike's inside the pants holster size 10 magazine safety check I I carry my gun in condition tree I know uh, some YouTube experts will say that you know you have to put a round in the chamber but it depends it depends on you it depends on your training or where you're going are you going in a hostile environment or you know it depends on you if you're trying to to draw and to rock the slide in a few seconds so it's, it's a preference so aside from the Uncle Mike's holster, if this is a, a Walmart holster, I think it's Allen's company. Size four inside the pa inside the pocket holster. Size four. So it can disappear inside your pocket without leaving some imprints. So if you're buying um, this inside the pocket. I had a problem before because uh, it, it is leaving an imprint on my pants, my jeans, in my jeans because of the shape of the holster. That's why I inserted a few stacks of cardboards to make it look like a rectangular shape. Okay. It blends well with the gun, the shape of the gun. Also, I bought, oh no, I bought, I just got it from a friend of mine. It's a, this is a camera holster, um, camera pouch, I think. You can put the gun inside, it fits. No problem. So, sometimes when we go somewhere, vacation, you know. They'll just think that you're, uh, you're being a camera. You can put the extra magazine in here. This is low pro. Fairly small. And lastly, this one. The brand is Belkin. I bought this from Goodwill for three bucks. I think it's brand new when I got it. It is. This is where you put normally your phone. You can put your gun here. Okay. You can put your gun. Close it. Oh, it's bulging. Maybe it's not going on. Okay, then this is how you put it. It doesn't bulge. See?
aside from that uh, you can put your cards here cards or other cash or whatever you want to put it it has an extra pouch this is where I put my extra magazine so I have two mags it's in here and small knife I bought a gander mountain for three bucks and extra ammo okay and for the gun itself as a background I bought this gun a few months when it was released because everybody uh, was raving about the gun everybody saying it's a good gun yes it is <clears throat> the quality is there but when I shot it in my CHL class uh, they require 50 rounds I think the webbing of my hand was swollen afterwards this part because of the edge of the <coughs> the frame hitting the webbing of my hand because although it shoots the spool 380 round this is light fairly very light so it kicks like a mule when you shoot it okay so after that after my seizure class I put it away I didn't carry like more than a year I did not use the gun because uh, it was not fun to shoot <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so uh, it collected dust inside my my safe and, and not until I saw this on eBay, a hog grip for the Ruger LCP 380. So it's the difference is night and day when you shoot it now. Okay, it still kicks, but it's manageable. Plus, I added a Pierce grip extension. Pierce grip extension. I have two of these extensions, <coughs> but I only use one. See, pierce extensions. I only use one because it leaves an imprint or it sticks out. Especially if you're wearing jeans it sticks out okay see so overall <clears throat> uh, what's my take on the Ruger LCP 380 uh, it's a love-hate relationship I hate it because it's not fun to shoot, definitely not a wrench gun, but as a backup gun, reliable, and I have no problems shooting it uh, when shooting it uh, at the range. And also, it shoots straight. Surprisingly, on my video, um, I got a bullseye with this Ruger LCP 380. And I have good groupings every time I shoot this. So, it's accurate gun. Okay, now I'm gonna attach my shooting videos last weekend. Thank you.